cleaning tool of your home is outside because that's where most of the dirt that winds up inside your home starts. So a good quality cleaning mat, not just a doormat, can prevent you from having to do a whole bunch more work inside. And we've had, by the way, that was the best shot in the world. <laughs> we, we've had from Don Aslett all kinds of different mats for many, many years. But this is their dirt trapper. It's the AstroTurf mat that at less than $20 can cut your housework by as much as maybe a third? Even up to a half, depending on how many people there are. How much, <laughs> and this, this guy, he's a dirt expert. <laughs> <laughs> this is John Holt, he represents the Don Aslett Cleaning Corporation. Welcome back, buddy. Thanks, Dan. On average, and I know we're very from family to family, yeah. How much dirt do we drag through the front, your, uh, front door or well, back door? Every a family year? of four, on average, will track in about 40 pounds of dirt a year. That's a wheelbarrow full of dirt. Yeah, and most of it comes in on your feet and your pet's feet. Okay. So now, as you know, Don has written over 30 books in mm -hmm. his career. And the first chapter of every book is the number one cleaning secret stop the dirt at the door. Mat every entrance. Right, and that's what we do when we get a commercial cleaning job. We okay. put these mats in front of all the entrances to the building, so if the dirt doesn't come into the building, guess what? We don't have to take it out. Well, the difference here is that what the Don Ashley Cleaning Company has done is they've taken their industrial mats, which are somewhat industrial looking. Right. And have done beautiful patterns and some gorgeous colors. We have an urban green, You've got sandbar, yes, which is kind of a beige, and then we also have a, 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 a gray. Flick gray. Flick gray. Right, kind of like a charcoal. And <laughs> you've created a pattern, but they still hold dirt. Well, that's just it, Dan. The, the bristles, there's about 100,000 active scraping blades. That's what I call them. Because when you wipe your feet on this, they actively get up into the little ridges of your shoes. If you look at them, they're like little itty bitty spatulas. Right, so Each what one. happens is when the dirt comes off your feet, the dirt literally goes below the surface. So the next person that stands on okay. this mat is standing on a clean mat. Now watch my finger here. These are about an inch long. So these will hold pounds and pounds of dirt before you have to clean them out. So I'll empty this entire container into this mat, which has a few pounds of dirt in it. And no matter who steps on this mat next, is stepping on a clean mat. It kind of, the dirt just kind of disappears. It, it's almost like a magic trick, right? Yeah. So again, there's, there's a few pounds of dirt in here and it, the mat is perfectly clean. But let me show you where the dirt went. I'm gonna pick this up. All right. And I'm just gonna, sh you do this about once a month at home. Imagine oh, just a fraction gosh. of that sand, the grit and the grime coming into your hardwood floor. That, that would destroy your floors. Yeah, and that, that was only a few pounds. Imagine 40 pounds over the course of a year entering your home, right? And for us, I mean, we live on the farm. The yeah. dogs are running all the time. They got four paws. Oh, exactly. Twice as much dirt as we do, so, that's like, really impressive. Well, like you saw in the video, the pets can walk across this. It's not, it's not so stiff that they would jump. Okay. Right, right, right. And you can it's walk across turf. this with bare feet. So you come in from work, you wipe your feet. N now, most people just don't take their shoes off. The husbands come home with the work boots. Look at all the dirt you can scrape off. Uh -huh. And the kids from the backyard, they come in your front door. This is the back door right here. The door swings right over it, mm -hmm. no problem. You walk in the house, you've got clean feet. And it, again, there's your bare feet, there's your pet's feet. It gets up in between their paws. It gets the dirt out of their paws. And take a look at this. Imagine a fraction of this dirt coming into your home. You've stopped it at the door. You've literally cut your cleaning in half. I, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, and it's a nice size. It's, they're 35 inches wide, right. 20 inches in length. And they, you do need to consider matting every entrance. Well, yeah. And for me, uh, I don't have a garage attached to the house, but it's that door from like the kitchen to the garage. Right. It's the back door. Uh, I very seldom ever come in through the front door, but you need one there as well. And it's yeah. all about keeping the dirt outside so instead of inside. I just filled this with pounds of dirt. When I wipe my you feet on this. You can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it. Now, you see all these little ridges on my shoes? Yep. If you stepped in wet mud and came inside, let the mud dry in your shoes. You'd be in trouble with the water. Oh, boy. This will take all of that <laughs> right out of your oh, shoes boy. because it gets up into the ridges of your shoes. Work boots, dress shoes, sneakers, whatever you may have. There's pounds of dirt in this mat. Uh -huh. Again, you just pick it up, give it a little shake. Now, these have non-slip backings on it. So when you put it it's in front nice of your deck. It's a nice thick backing. Right, nice heavy-duty backing. So if you have it on a covered deck and you step on this with wet, muddy shoes, right. none of the dirt's going to go through the mat onto your flooring. It all stays contained within the mat.
okay? If you want, you, the, obviously these don't go in the washing machine. You would hose them off. Yep. If it's wet mud, that gets all caked up. Even the dead leaves that are gonna come this fall, you step on them, they crumble up into little crumbs. They go down into the bottom of the mat. And then you can sift it out later. That's it. Simple, easy, so you're, effective. You're doing the demonstrations with what's called driftwood, right? Uh, sandbox. Sandbox. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I know. Uh, taupe, okay? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. It's a tan looking mat. What, it, we, why can't we? We just, you can't just call this green. No. It's urban green. Oh, what, what, it's a grass in a city, different color than outside? <laughs> urban green. So what color is this? Sandbar. Sandbar. And over here, we've got. Yes, what do we have over there? Uh, flint gray. Oh, hold on, yeah. I'll look it up. Yes. Or graphite. That would be flint gray. Okay. Now, this, this is actually my favorite color. It just kind of goes with my decking. But again, it doesn't matter what color you put in front of your door. The camera's looking straight down on this, but there we go. Now look at all that dirt just simply disappear. When I step on this mat in the same spot, I'm not touching one of those yeah, crumbs the, the that went into the mat. The bristles on the top are still clean yep. and can still do their job. How many people have sneakers like this that you get the mud, the dirt, everything caked in it. You wipe your foot on this and look at this, Dan. The kids, you stop their dirt at the door. The That's husbands, the pets. piles of dirt. I mean, just a couple of these little granules on your hardwood floor oh. would be havoc, okay? Yeah, scratch the daylight. Right, out. number one cleaning secret by Don Aslett, stop the dirt at the door. Well, if there's still some folks out there that don't know who Don is, sure. Uh, let's talk about him, because Don, first of all, he's a nice guy. And I have not seen Don in well, he, over He's five kind years. of enjoying his time off out there in Idaho. <laughs> yep. You know, writing a new book, you know. He's, he's in Pocatello, right? Yes, Pocatello, Idaho. Uh, he, he, as a young man, he made a decision that he was going to pay for college himself uh, and did it by cleaning, and he would clean businesses late at night. Get up and go to his classes during the day and work late at night. The business continued to grow until he now has America's largest cleaning company, or at least one of. Yes. Cleaning, what is it, 400 <laughs> million yeah. square feet of office and retail space every single night. That's uh, a lot of square foot. The man also foot. has... And if it isn't the world's largest, it may it's be the North America's only. largest cleaning corporation. Uh, and he, I think he also has the world's largest vacuum cleaner museum, doesn't he? he in Pocatello, Idaho. If you're yeah. on your way to see the largest ball of twine on your way, which is nothing compared the country. to the biggest vacuum okay. cleaner collection, <laughs> it's two city blocks of a cleaning museum. I, no, I actually <laughs> think that's really cool. Uh, he has actually designed self-cleaning homes, and technology that's being utilized right now. He, he was kind of the Walt Disney of cleaning. Pretty he much, really right? He really was able to look into the future. And things like this just make sense. So how many people have a hunk of rubber right now in front of your front door because it might look good? Okay. All the dirt sits on the top, so the next person that stands on this is going to bring some of that dirt in. That makes sense. Okay. Now, if you've upgraded it to something like this, I mean, you could spend $100 on a fancy one of these, which they do look good if they say welcome. But again, there's so many bristles, the dirt sits on top. The, the idea of a, of a dirt trapping mat is to trap the dirt, not on the mat, but in the mat. Okay. Which means below the surface. Okay, now I'm overfilling this mat. This is the second jug of dirt on the same mat. So literally it holds pounds and pounds of dirt. Top of the bristles are clean. You don't even see the dirt, so it looks clean even when it's filled with dirt. If you, you don't think there's any dirt in there, no, take a look a at this. Look at the dirt that comes out of that. <laughs> okay, in, in just a few minutes, Dan, that we've been filling this and emptying this. You're creating a sandbar. Yeah. <laughs> over over 700 have been ordered this morning at $19.98. John, I don't remember this particular mat ever being on Morning Q Live. Well, you know, it's been many years since we've actually brought these back to QVC. Right. Because so many people had them, I, we flooded the market, but everybody here kept saying, when you bringing those mats back? Well, you and I were talking right? earlier today. <laughs> if, if people happen to be at my farm, uh, they made a larger version of this, which is what is outside the front door of my home mm -hmm. and outside the kitchen door of my home. And it does make a difference. It makes a dramatic difference on just how much dirt can actually get in. Uh, they're the pretty key, though, is you do have to wipe your feet. And if you've got kids, you got to remind sure. them. Or... It's not a bad idea. I've actually seen people put two of them side by side so that now you walk this way on right. them. And when you do, 
You have to scrape your feet. Oh, and it, 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 it can't, these can't not work. The bristles get up between the ridges of your shoes to pull the dirt out and okay. it falls into the bottom of the mat. Your door is 36 inches wide. That's why we made this 35 inches wide. So it fits right in between the trim of your door side to side so you can't miss it. There's 100,000 of these scraping blades on the mat that pull the dirt down in it, holds the dirt, hides the dirt, so the next person that stands on this mat is standing on a clean mat. Do you sell these mats anywhere else? No. No. And well, we had, we had them in our cleaning catalog that right. Don used to send out, but other than that, QVC, with this pattern? With the retail, great. Right, Greek key pattern, that's what we're calling this. It, it's a beautiful pattern, it's a functional mat, it works, it looks good, and it, 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 look at this. Here's another few pounds of dirt. Now this is, this is a boatload <laughs> really of dirt. That's really impressive, that's funny. Just imagine it's coming into your home. Over the course of a year, this will enter your home. That's why you sweep, you vacuum, you yep. mop so much. The average family, again, drags about 40 pounds of dirt in through their doors each year. So we're gonna negate some of that. This is called Urban Green. Yep. This one is called? Sandbar. Sandbar. And then? Flint Gray. Flint Gray. <laughs> okay. We got our colors. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Now, they're all filled with dirt. Let me show you something. Doesn't uh, matter what color you buy. All right. Easy to clean. There's a Flint Gray. Yep. Over here. Look at this, the sandbar. I didn't have too much dirt in there. Pick that one Urban up and give green. it a dump. That is that's just, your urban green. And the dirt. See how easy the dirt comes out of it? Out. That's the whole idea. It has to be functional, easy to clean, and it just keeps on working. I like the backing too. It keeps these things from yeah, you know, it, blowing it, off your porch onto the next door. It's a non-slip backing. Yep. So when you do wipe your feet on it, it stays put. I didn't realize there was so much thought that went into making a doormat. I know. <laughs> that's, that's impressive, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Really appreciate yep. that. Finally back on the air. First time ever in the program here at Morning Q Live. And uh, you be careful. Don't run in those shoes. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Oh my gosh. I like to get you. Did you have fun? I did, always with you. I, always, I always. I enjoy working with you. You're amazing. Uh, thank you.